Ugh, are you kidding me? This girl keeps copying all of my videos. And my views are going down. Bruh, I think it's time I get another job. Like, what can I even work at? Uh, let me see. Are there any jobs I can apply to? Oh, look, taxi driver. Oh, wait, and I think that makes a good amount of money. And I already have the uniforms from my previous videos. You know what? I think I'll just do that. Uh, let me see. Are my taxi clothes here? Uh, okay, they're not here. Let me check my closet. Bruh, why is my closet so empty? Oh, no, my clothes are here. <gasps> I found it. I'm gonna look perfect for the job. There we go. Oh my gosh. I look so good. This taxi outfit is so much better than the previous one. Ah, uh, but now I need to get a taxi car. Where the heck can I even find that? Oh, wait. I think I can just rent one at the gas station. Oh, wait. Before I go, I should probably get snacks for my customers. Hehe, <laughs> but of course, I'll charge them extra. Because I need this money. Let me see. What would people actually get? Okay, maybe I can get some sodas, chocolate, and maybe some chips too. Oh, wait. But like, what if they make my car all dirty? Oh, it's whatever. It's worth it for the money. Okay, I need to so hurry up and go to the car rentals. Okay, I'm finally here. I really hope you have some taxi cars you can use. Um, hello? Welcome to the rental shop. How may I help you? I would like to rent a taxi. I'm going to be working as a taxi driver. Oh, Hi, sure, can I please sure. get a taxi? I need a taxi because I'm going to be a taxi driver for a week. Ah! Um, excuse me? Um, I was here first. Um, no, I literally just wanted to be a taxi driver. Are you kidding me? Uh, it's not like you own the taxi driver shop. Like, you could get another job any day. Like, does that have your name on it? No. So, I could be a taxi driver if I want to. No! I literally literally arrived here first and i literally just quit my other job because <laughs> you were doing everything i was doing so let me have this job in peace oh uh, you think the world revolves around you i'm not trying to copy you i have original ideas my hard work business also fell apart not everything is about you like i want a job as well oh my god Ugh, i'm so sorry sir um can you please give me the best taxi car they have well sure ma'am but i just want to let you two know we only have two cars available at the moment one big nice car and one small awful car i want the big one i really want the big one. Oh, you don't not everything is about you i want the big one ma'am can you please stop yelling and being obnoxious please oh my god what the hell why are you calling obnoxious i am jida of brookhaven oh my god well ma'am i'm sorry but this is my shop my rules so please calm down stay seated i'm gonna help the other customer first okay i am calm oh my god why does everyone think i'm so loud and obnoxious this is just how i talk yeah then maybe you should talk less i'm so sorry so can you please show me the car yes sure ma'am right this way uh, I'm so sorry about that girl. She's literally like my enemy. Everything I do, she does too. Even my downfall. If I had someone copy me that much, I'd probably jump off a bridge. Anyways, here's the car. This is your first time being a taxi driver, right? Yeah, it's my first time. Do you have any tips? First rule is always be nice and respectful to the customers. Second rule, do not get hit. You do not have insurance. You will be sued for all your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not the best driver, but it's okay. I'll make sure everybody's alive and the car will not be scratched. Okay, good, good. Third rule, sometimes you may pick up a serial killer. Happens huh? to the best of us. Just stay calm and don't look them directly in the eyes too much. Okay. And if they're a serial killer, what do I do? Well, best advice is don't die. I really need the car back. Anyways, you should be all good to go now. Oh my god, okay, thank you. Good luck. Uh, now to deal with the other one. <laughs> That's what you get. Shut up, you watermelon freak. Just go to your big taxi because you need everything in the one. Oh, just shut up. Oh my god. Bro, this girl talks too much. She doesn't even know what she's saying. <laughs> Anyways, I'll go enjoy my good big car. Oh my god, that girl is so annoying. I can't believe she tried to be a taxi driver like me. Like, I'm literally only doing this job because I need money. <laughs> but you know what? I'm determined to be the best taxi driver ever. I guess it's time to find my first client. Can you please stop screaming? I'm gonna have to kick you out. You're so annoying. I'm not being myself being annoying because I'm original and myself and not like all the other basic girls like that more watermelon girl they're just mad that i would make so much money and be the best taxi driver that you just won't give me a taxi yeah no i'm sorry you're just too annoying i really can't allow someone annoying in my taxi i'll allow serial killers but can't okay, give fine. you the taxi okay fine fine okay fine you know what? i don't even care anymore oh my god oh my god it's so small like no one would ever want this oh my god <sighs> I'll never be a taxi driver like Bella. Man, you were under arrest. You were driving in the wrong side of the road. How are you gonna arrest me when I can't walk because you broke all my bones? We need backup. She's being belligerent. Um, hello. Are you Caitlin? 
Yeah, can you take me home, please? Yeah, sure. Um, hop in. Thank you. Where do you want me to take you? 13 Vlog Street House, please. Um, also, ma'am, why are you crying? Is everything okay? You will not believe what happened. What happened? My best friend hooked up with my ex. What? She ended up falling off the bed, so she went to the hospital and used my card to pay for her medical bills. And I'm broke now, and I don't have a boyfriend or a best friend because I dumped them, and I failed my test this morning. <laughs> my gosh, girl, your life is a mess. She's a fake best friend. Why did you and your ex break up? What the heck happened there? A, he cheated on me, and B, he was flirting with the English teacher. Miss Ryan, that's just really weird. Girl, that's super weird. What the heck? Honestly, you didn't lose anything. Now when I go home, I'm gonna be ugly because my mascara is all about my face. And this mascara is so expensive. Wait, girl, what mascara is it? It's my better than strawberries mascara. $50. Girl, I would not waste a $50 mascara crying over a stupid boy. He should be giving me money, not wasting my time. You're right. Are we almost there? I don't live this far away from school. Are you trying to kidnap me? No, girl. We're almost there. Okay, ma'am. We're here. Thank you. How much is it? Um, $20, please. Are you joking? No. We're a five-minute drive from school to my house. Are you trying to make my day worse? Girl, you know what? You have a lot of issues. I don't need your money. Just go. Goodbye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Wow, I love how her mood changed when I told her she didn't have to pay. I think it's time to pick up my next client. This one's at the beach. What the heck? Who's at the beach on a Tuesday? Let me go pick them up. They just wanna. They just wanna. Oh my god, did I just crash into a pool? Oh my god. You know what? It's fine. I'll just blame Gina. And then I'll get away with it. <laughs> oh, look. There's a red light. <laughs> It's whatever. There's nobody around. <laughs> Anyways, where's this stupid beach located? Bro, this person must be a serial killer or something. What the heck? Who goes to this beach? Okay, um, I think I'm here. Oh, look. There's my taxi. <laughs> I hope it's a girl. <laughs> Especially a cute one. <laughs> um, is there any Brad around? Brad, your taxi's here. Yo, what up, girl? It's me. For day. <laughs> oh, heck no. Not you again. I I'm sorry. I'm not a taxi. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. I need a ride. <laughs> Hurry. Wait. Stop. There we go. Good thing you left your doors unlocked. Ah, <laughs> uh, Brad, what are you doing here? I feel like I see you everywhere I go. Oh. It's for day, actually. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, you. Stop playing so hard to get. <laughs> I kind of like it, though, so. He'll stop. Okay, but anyways, what the heck are you doing here? Well, actually, I'm supposed to be in school today, but I got expelled because I was kept flirting with the teachers. <laughs> Wait a second. Isn't that, like, what the other girl was talking about? Wait, what? Yeah, she's, like, 50 or whatever, but she's really hot. Like a fine wine. <laughs> Ew. But wait, by any chance, do you have a girlfriend? No, we actually broke up because I started dating her best friend. And then I broke up with her best friend because I started dating the teacher. And then the teacher broke up with me because I started flirting with other teachers. So I'm nice and single for you now, baby girl. <laughs> Ew, I've never cringed this much. Bro, you're literally so weird. But anyways, I don't care about your life story. Where do you want to go? Do you even have money? Yeah, girl, I got money just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> yeah, anyways, take me to 321 Block Slane Street, please. <laughs> Wait a second, isn't that my address? <laughs> Guilty as charged, you got me. Bro, I'm not gonna take you to my house. And besides, how do you even know my address? Don't you remember? I was in your house. I watched you when you slept. <laughs> you know what? I'll take you to my house. Yeah, you better put on some romantic music too, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, is this song good? Wait, this song's just perfect. Ugh, I wonder if Brede is considered a serial killer because he's really killing me inside. Okay, Brede, we're here, right where you belong. Wow, this is actually a police station, girl. <laughs> yeah, because you belong in jail, you freak. Oh, man. Not again. Again? You've been to jail before? Yeah, girl. I was in there with you, but we don't talk about that. That's our little secret. What? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, but anyways, I'm gonna go. Goodbye. Wait, wait. Your money, girl. I haven't given you... <sighs> Ow. That's what you get, you freak. Ah! <laughs> Aggressive. I like that. Totally into me. According 
to the GPS, this person lives in the Richville neighborhood. Man, they have a lot of money if they're living there. I wonder who my guest is. Probably like a celebrity or something. Oh my gosh, this is their house? I wish I lived here. Are you kidding me? Is the person actually taking pictures? Okay, she bougie bougie. Um, hello, are you Courtney Kardashian? Excuse me, I'm on the phone. Can you not see that I am on the phone with some very important people? I'm sorry, I won't speak. Yeah, um, anyways, who was it? Oh, I don't know. I think it's like a peasant or something. Here, have a dollar. Just leave me alone. Um, you messaged me for a ride? I'm not a peasant. As in how disrespectful like how dare she think that i do not know who i'm talking to does she not know who i am i am a mother and i know who i'm talking to oh wait you're right you are my taxi cab driver i'm sorry you just look like a hobo uh, i don't look like a hobo i literally look super fashionable just get in my car <laughs> okay whatever okay so um where do you want me to take you i'm sorry miss i shouldn't really be talking to people like you because what happens is that my skin starts to wrinkle and you're gonna make me wrinkle Bro, what? I'm just a normal human being. Exactly. I don't speak to normal people. On top of that, I am a mother, and there are people dying in Africa. So how dare you discount me as a woman? What? What are you saying? Ma'am, why didn't you hire me if you don't want me to take you somewhere? I want to help the unfortunate, and you look really unfortunate right now. Yeah, I feel very unfortunate right now to have you in my car being so rude to me. How dare she? I am just trying to help a misfortunate person. I am a mother, and I am very, very upset that she would ever say th such things to me like that. Okay, ma'am, um, where do you want me to take you? I don't know. Use Google. Didn't I put it in the GPS? Are you, like, so dumb that you don't know how to even use your own device? You didn't put anything! Just take me to the closest five-star restaurant. But don't take me somewhere too rich, because I am not that type of girl. Girl, there's only one five-star restaurant in town. Okay, fine. Bro, this girl is literally so rude and entitled. And she keeps speaking about she's a mother. Poor child. Can you turn off that music? That music is barbaric. There are people out there dying and not being able to listen to proper music. Okay, fine. How about this music? See? That's so much better. You're helping the environment. <laughs> Oh my god, are you trying to kill me? I'm sorry, ma'am. It got fixed. There we go. You should care about my rights. Bro, I'm a woman too! I couldn't tell. The way that you're acting, you're acting like a barbarian. What the heck is a barbarian? Okay, ma'am, um, we're here. You can get out of my car now. Your total be $50. I'm not paying for anything. I am a mother. Give me the money now! I've dealt with you too much. Oh my god, take my money. Jeez. Thank you. Now leave. You'll never hear from me again. Trust me, I don't want to. <gasps> now, where's my next client? Okay, I guess my client's at this restaurant. Um, hello? Uh, oh my goodness, thank god you're here. The service of this place was horrible. Are you Karen Smith? Are you here for the taxi services? Yes, that's me. Karen Smith is the first. The first? There's more of you? Yeah, my family has a really long generation, but I'm the most important one. Karen Blacksell is actually better. She's a bootleg version of me. I've heard of her before. Bro, she came before you. I know her. Aren't you supposed to be taking me somewhere? Okay, you're right. Come on, get in. I'm taking off one rating for not Bro. escorting me. Please don't, please don't. I really need this job. Where do you want me to take you again? I need you to take me to another restaurant. What? Another restaurant? Girl, you eat a lot. No, I didn't eat anything. Wait, you didn't? Then why did you go there? The service was terrible. They tried to feed me chicken, but I'm vegan. Hashtag save the animals. Wait, what? So you're vegan and they tried to feed you chicken? Didn't they have like vegan options? No, they didn't have vegan options. They forced me to eat chicken. Do you eat chicken? Yeah, I eat chicken. I like chicken. What? You eat chicken? You animal abuser. Girl, I didn't kill them. And besides, I'm trying to be vegetarian. So like, don't worry. I love the animals. You say that while you still eat chicken. How can you love animals if you're killing them by eating them? You know that chicken is the same thing as a dog, right? I mean, not really the same thing, but I understand where you're going. Are you kidding me? This is why the world is dying. Because of people like you. Girl, did I just tell you I'm trying to become vegetarian? Crying is not enough. You need to become one. Okay fine i'll consider it also, do you follow the vegan teacher she's like my hashtag idol no i don't follow her but i follow benji i love him <gasps> how dare you this is betrayal get me out of this place girl what do you mean betrayal i can like someone famous without stop the car now 
Okay, fine. I'm leaving. I don't want you to drive me anymore. This is another star off of your rating. <gasps> um, ma'am, I need the money. No, get out of here. You the money. Abuser. Are you kidding me? I barely made money today. Ugh. Why do all my clients suck? I heard that. <laughs> no, you need to get away. Why are all the carrots so crazy, bro? Okay, so according to my GPS, I think I'm at the person's house. But wait, there's nobody waiting for me. Maybe they want me to go through the driveway? I don't know. Okay, it's fine. Oh, look, there's someone there. Thanks for watching my hot tub stream, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe right now. I'm gonna go puke my guts out. Hello, oh. I'm here. Taxi. Hello. It took you so long. Bro, you were literally streaming or something. Sorry, my stream made me eat too much broccoli and I'm allergic to healthy food. So, um, where am I gonna take you again? Just get me to the nearest hospital before it's too late. Oh my gosh, okay. Step on it. We gotta go. It's coming. Ow! Did he just fart in my car? Are you okay? I told you to hurry. We don't have much time. Bro! My nostrils won't have much time if you keep this up. What did you eat again? Broccoli with cinnamon. Bro, you shouldn't be doing the cinnamon challenge. I heard people can die from that. They made me do it. I'm sorry. How much did they donate? Six dollars. Bro! You shouldn't have done that for six dollars. Drop me off. I gotta go. It's coming. Get out of my car before you nuke it. But wait! You need to pay! Who do I pay? Me, silly. I'm your driver. Here you go, man. Adam, take it all. Bro, that's only $3. You literally almost had diarrhea in my car, and this is why you repay me. Oh. Uh, oh my god. You should have just let me have it for free. I'm leaving. Uh, I think I need to go to another client. Goodbye. Okay, so according to the GPS, this person lives in the middle of the wood. Oh my god, it better not be a serial killer. You know what? I'll be fine. Oh, wait, I think that's them. Hello, your taxi's here. Oh, hi. I forgot I ordered a taxi. Yeah, I'm here to pick you up. Um, where do you want to go? I want you to go pick up some food for my horse, Stacy. Isn't she beautiful? Ooh, this is your horse? Lane, she's cute. Nah, she's hungry. She needs some food. Yeah, she's my beautiful stone. She wins all my competition. Okay, well, we better get her some food. So come on. All right. Oh, my gosh, finally got a normal client. So, do you like horses? Oh, Oh, yeah, of course I love horses. Um, do you like dogs? Dogs, but horses are so much better. I don't really agree, but like, yeah, they're both amazing animals. What type of horses do you like? Oh, I like brown horses, black horses, white horses, gray horses, pink horses. Okay, I get it. You like a lot of type of horses. What do you like most about horses? Petting them and riding them and brushing them and feeding them. So basically everything that has to do with horses you like. Any activity. Yes, horses are life. Oh, what's your second favorite animal besides horses? Donkeys and zebras, definitely. <laughs> Aren't those like very similar to horses? Exactly. That's why I love them. Oh, okay. How long have you been riding horses? Since I was two months old. Okay. Well, ma'am, I think we're right here. We're at your destination. Oh, thank you so much. Now my horses will be able to eat because of you. Yay! Also, that would be $10, please. Oh, but I need the $10 for my horses. Oh, and I need the $10 to pay rent. So you don't care about horses? Of course I care about the horses. I smell horse poo. Are you calling me a liar? I smell a horse hater. I'm not a horse hater! Uh, prove it. You know what? I won't charge you anything. Go feed your horses. Goodbye. Thank you. Bro, and I thought she was normal. You know what? It's getting a little bit late. I'll do one more customer today. Okay, so my last client also lives in a rich neighborhood. Oh my gosh. All these people are rich and they don't even give me a tip. Wait, that woman looks familiar. Uh, she's probably a twin. Ma'am, are you gonna get in? Are you not going to greet me? Ugh, these Americans have no manners. Of course I'll greet you. <laughs> Wait a second, are you the woman that worked at the spa? Ugh, it's you, the cursed girl with the Mount Everest pimple. Well, actually, I don't even have the Mount Everest pimple, so whoever did the work did a pretty good job. I always knew you was poor. That's why you work in cab driving. Well, a girl needs to get her money so that she can do spa treatments and stuff. Anyways, I need to go visit my rich husband. So at least do something right, you crazy Americans. A husband? Wait, so why are you going to another house then? I have three rich husbands. Where's your husband? Do you have one? No, I don't have a husband. I don't even have a boyfriend. Ugh, no wonder you look like that. Go get yourself rich husband. Not her getting in my car without me. It's 
escorting her. She's so rude. Also, honey, when I'm out of my job, please do not speak of the spa and also call me by my alias, Anastasia. Okay, I'm sorry for mentioning your job then. Also, I really like your name. Thanks. Everybody loves my name. What is your name? Uh, my name is Bella. Oh, your mother didn't love you that much. My name actually means beautiful in Italian, so I think I'm very loved. If that's what you Americans do to say. Anyways, can you give me the address? Dolabella. Bell Hotel. It's the five-star hotel in Brookhaven. It's one of the best prestigious places ever. Oh, so what are you gonna do there? That is not your business. I pay you to take me places, not get to know my life. Okay, I'm sorry. What you must do is get rich husband because you look like hobo right now and it's making me nervous. Ah, uh, don't be mean to me. It's not really that easy to find a good guy. You do realize that. Honey, the way that you're dressed, the color of your hair, that is why you cannot find rich husband husband ah okay then give me advice how do i get a rich husband first you must look and act like a lady second you must get rid of this disgusting job it's giving me anxiety and third of all keep your friends close but your enemies closer oh that one i got that pretty done don't worry i'll do you a favor because you're making me feel bad for you i don't do charity but for once i'll do it because i don't care i will give you my cousin he needs to be in this country you marry him i'll give you a couple of thousands no 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 i'm not interested in dating someone i don't even know he seeks for blonde hair blue eyes okay never mind maybe i'll give it a chance <laughs> according to the gps we are here welcome to la belle hotel you did not do bad job i guess i'll give you tip here you go two thousand dollars in tip he looks like you need it more than i do wait what two thousand dollars that's like a month of paycheck oh it is i don't know poor people problem ah uh, thank you so much literally nobody's really paid me today so this really means a lot you're welcome you're not so bad after all but remember do not speak about the spa or i will come after you and kill you myself what my date is calling me bye bye american bye anastasia you know what i guess being a taxi driver isn't that bad after all <laughs> i don't want to do it again actually you know what if you guys like and subscribe right now then maybe i'll do a part two